Hello, and thank you again for joining us here for PPI 365's Microsoft Dynamics training demo series. My name is Kelsey Chambers, and today we'll be covering how to navigate through your entity dashboards within the Sales Hub application. Much like we've seen with the system dashboards, the Sales Hub app features entity dashboards as well. This is a great feature of the unified interface and operates much like the system dashboards. To access any of the entity dashboards, select the entity from your work area. Today we'll be looking at the leads. Once on the desired entity, from the command bar, select Open Dashboards. You may have to select the three ellipses depending on the size of your screen. Once I open my dashboards, we'll go ahead and see our four streams listed here, my open leads, open leads, closed leads, and all leads. Notice that there is also a date filter at the top right hand of the dashboard. This is currently defaulted to this quarter, however, if you select the dropdown, you can change the date filtering and even create a custom time frame. Select custom time frame, see your start and end date, apply and then that'll change the date on your filter. For now, we'll go ahead and leave it to this quarter. Additionally, you can also change the view of the dashboard easily by selecting the switch to tile view from the command bar. Keep in mind that this is going to be your mobile application view. And switching back to our stream view, just for easier viewing, we'll go ahead and look at our filters as well. So on your actual stream itself, where you see modified on, if you select that, you will be able to make the filters directly on each of the individual streams. And you can also change to ascending or descending order. You also have an option to select multiple records and even create new records from straight within your stream. By selecting your three ellipses or more commands, We'll go ahead and see that you can see all of the records, you can delete multiple records, you can run your flows, anything that you would normally be able to do on your regular dashboard or your views as well. Clicking off of that, we also have a great new tool, which is the visual filter. So if we select show visual filters, you'll notice that you, these visual graph like filters will drop down from the top and all you simply have to do is select the filter that you want in order for it to filter all of your streams listed below. So for instance, if my leads by source, I want sorted by partner or filtered by partner and then the warm, you'll see my filters being applied just simply by clicking them. If I want to remove a filter, I can either remove them individually by selecting the X or by selecting clear all to remove all of the visual filters. Your visual filters will also show on your global filter. If you select the drop down for the custom filters, you'll see your global filters listed here as well. And you can actually filter directly from here and clear events. One of the great things is you can also save your filters, which, is, which essentially is a great way for you to create a customized entity dashboard view. So let's add our filter. And if we select the arrow after typing a name for it, we'll now see that it appears on the saved filters. If I select the drop down, I simply have to apply the filter next to the saved one that I want applied. What's also great is I can set a saved filter view as a default. Selecting the three ellipses, all I have to do is hit set as default and you'll see the pin switch over just like in the remainder of the Dynamics 365 Sale Hub, which will make it our default. Refreshing our page, we'll see that this is now our default sort sorting for our leads dashboard. Now, if we switch over to a different dashboard on your entity for your leads, you'll notice that the filtering saves. So keep that in mind when creating a default filter.
Thank you again for joining us here at PPI 365 for our Microsoft Dynamics 365 training demo series. Come see us on LinkedIn for our Cloud Corner every Wednesday. And check out our other training demo videos. Leave us a comment and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to be notified every time we post a new video, remember to hit that notification bell. As always, if you have any questions, please reach us at info, that's I-N-F-O, at ppi365.com. We hope you join us again soon.